International again, and this time we've got a kit from Flyhawk. This is HMS Nyad, as outfitted in 1940. This is the limited version with some extra bonus parts. It's like there's photo etch, um, some Ushi van der Osten uh, rigging, and some metal parts. Looks like barrels and some other parts. Not sure what those are yet. So, um, oh, obviously 1 700th scale. Um, so, on the side, there's uh, just a black and white or oh, lime drawing. Uh, a couple of photographs here of um, other ships, a Lutzo and Derflinger um, from uh, German First World War. So let's have a look inside the box. So we did. So I'll just undo these tabs, slide that off. And let's see, how does this open? Uh -huh. Ah, that's handy. You've got a. I'll show you this. You've got a, a nice seascape on the top there. So let's open that one up. So we get inside here. Running out of space a bit there. So we get an image of the box top and a brief history on the back here. Um, basically, as it says here, Nyad was uh, one of the Dido class light cruisers. Um, she was, I think she's the second one to be laid down. Um, she was built with five turrets, unlike a lot of the early ones were actually built with four turrets. These, they use the same turrets as on the King George V type battleships. Uh, obviously secondary armament on those. Um, but this one was actually built with five turrets from the get-go, which they have right, at least in the box out there. Um, so that looks good, they've done their research. Um, let's see what we get in here. So we've got, let's see, it looks like two sheets of photo etch there. Yoshi van der Osten's um, rigging, which is, which is good, good stuff. In here we have um, metal parts in the box. Um, we have a wooden box there, wooden box, a cardboard box. And then we have, that looks like the very fine um, masts are in here. And that is a nice touch. I don't know if you can see that, but they're protected basically in their own 3D box so they can, so they won't get damaged in transit. So let's open this box. And we get instructions, which is two sheets of paper. I'll go through those in more in more detail after we've finished opening the box. But it looks like it's their new sort of slightly larger um, images, so you can see what's happening. We have one, two, three steps on that one. Looks like there's uh, four, five. Things are colour coded, so you don't get things mixed up. So a quick glance at this. Uh, how to the sub steps as well, little steps on how to do little parts, how to fold, which ways to fold the PE, um, and like uh, small diagrams to show you how the to make the sub assemblies. So up to twelve larger steps on there, thirteen steps. Colour marking guide. Um, these are the paints are called out in Mr. Hobby and Tamiya. Nice to see they're not doing uh, white ensign model paints anymore since nobody makes them anymore. Um, and that's obviously in colour, shiny, shiny paper. So that's the instructions look as good as they usually are. Um, a little better actually. Oh, here's another big photo etch sheet. So my guess is that's what comes normally and these parts are the extras. 
um, extra, so you've got an extra two photo etch sheets and metal parts. We've got a decal with Royal Navy Ensign, um, four of those. With a box with small small parts in it. Let's see what we get. Is quite a lot of stuff in here, so I'll um, I'll open all the bags. Okay, so I've opened up all the bags, and there is quite a lot of stuff in this kit. So, um, start off with let's have a look at the whole comes. Um, Pretty much all in one piece, actually. By the way, I know this. They've got the top and the the lower hull and the upper hull are both together. I'll leave them together. So you could you could um, turn this, make this into a waterline kit if you wanted to by just removing the bottom half. They're not attached. The elastic bands hold them together. So I'll run the profile view of this across the top, but you can see there that uh, there's some very nice detail on the side you can see where the armor the side armor is portholes straights on the bottom so that's the usual good good quality stuff um, there's a metal plate in there for, for extra weight these are I've just taken one of these out for now but I will photograph everything and put it and put pictures on the website but there's the level of detail you get. And these are all nicely protected. See how the, the sprues have raised edges around them. Really tiny attachment points. And look at this one since it's so delicate. So this one has its own cardboard box. Parts are again protected inside by cardboard by the sprue edges which are raised as well to protect them. And it all very fine detail on those, very thin, and it all goes inside its own plastic box to protect it even further. So I'll just put those down for now because it'll take me a lot of delicate when I put those away. The five turrets, which is right for this particular ship in 1940. Here we have propellers. And some of the smaller, yeah, the propeller shafts. Here we have on this one, it's like anchors on the left and ship's boats on the right. Um, torpedo tubes on the hull of fire in there as well, perhaps. Those look like has to go with the barrels, um, plastic ship's barrels, although remember I said there's metal barrels in here as well. I'll take some detailed photographs of these parts as I said, look on the website, uh, looks like the aft end of the deck and there's, uh, you can see there's detail on there to replicate the wooden decks. That's the forecastle. Looks very, very nice. Raised at the front as well. It has the right curve on it. Here's a. I'll put these photographs across the top of the screen. Some of these pieces of the superstructure. There's ladders on here. Portholes. Storage lockers on the top. I'm just look at a couple of these. Some very nice detail, very nice and very fine detail on those. Another one of these sprues with the built up thick edges to protect the parts inside. It's a really nice touch. You can do that in a lot of their kits to protect the delicate parts. This is the largest sprue of them all. Um, you can see there's two funnels, they're both completely hollow. You can see through them top to bottom. 
Um, and again, loads more small parts in there. A lot of fine detail. So, um, so look, we've got just have a quick look at the three photo etched sheets. That's the first one. I think this is the one that comes with the kit. There's the, uh, um, I think that's just the safety instructions. I'll leave these inside the bag now, but I'll I'll take them out for, for photographing. Um, so that's nice, all the railings are on there. Obviously this one looks like there's more detail on this. Um, so I'll open this one up. So we see the whole bag. There's the uh, um, thread from Bushy and Austin for rigging. This one. Basically, this is yeah. Basically, this shows you what to do with all the the extras that come with the kit: the extra two photo etch sheets, the rigging, and the six different types of. Um, Metal parts. And some good photographs on there. So I'll, I'll photograph all these for you. And looking at the metal parts here, there is some very, very small pieces in here. I don't even know. There's the Bag with the barrels, ten, 10 brass barrels. This looks like secondary armament. And then there's other small parts. I shall have to do some digging to see where these are used. But when you do with these, there's going to be some uh, some careful work. So. So that's that's it. There's a lot in the box. It's a very full box. Um, the plastic on its own is very nicely detailed, but all the extras make it all a bit special. Um, yeah. So next, I shall um, let's have a look at the instructions, and I'll take some go through some close-up photographs of the parts. Okay, so now for a closer look at the part as we go through the instructions. Here you can see step one, and step one is reasonably straightforward. We've got a nicely detailed deck, as you can see, and the main parts of the superstructure go in place. You have the option of building the ship uh, waterline or full hull. Um, if it's waterline, there is a base to go in and a metal bar to give it some weight. Move down to step two, and basically, in the whole build, we're starting at the uh, starting at the forward end of the ship and moving to the aft. So, with that being said, we start off with adding the front three turrets and some small details on the forward superstructure. Uh, starting with the first pieces of photo etch, and also some of these parts are replaced by the extra photo etch in this limited edition set. I turn over the page, go to step three, and basically we're building a component. We're adding some fine details onto uh, what looks like the bridge. And I think in this part, um, there's it even goes down to um, binoculars in here. Uh, 100, one seven hundred scale binoculars, and that's that's a thing. Uh, now down to step four, and basically we're putting the uh, the pieces we made in step three, fitting those, and step five, we start moving midships and start working on the first funnel and adding details around there. Let's see that the funnels are nicely detailed, they're hollow, and again, there's more photo etch to come on these. Step six is just about getting the pipework around the uh, one of the funnels correct. And things, as you can see, they're color coded. Step seven is again still working midships. Add the second mast. Um, sorry, add the second funnel. Um, put the main mast in. Add a photo etch right on the very top. 
Um, even on the normal model, there's quite a fair bit of photo etch going in here. And there's a lot more with the bonus set. And now onto the uh, second instruction sheet, start with step eight, which has some sub steps at the top where you're making components and folding some photo etch. And now we're moving slightly aft of midships and adding some small details onto the aft superstructure. And again, there'll be some, some of the details here will be replaced by the extra photo etch sets. Now move down to step nine, where we add the aft two turrets and some aft masts, and again, smaller details. And throughout this whole model, there's lots of nice small details going in. Now move down to step 10 is adding more photo etch to the top of the aft mast, I believe. Step 11 is um, adding depth charge, depth charge uh, throwers or uh, dispensers, the way they roll out. Um, I remember these are actually replaced by, completely replaced by photo etch in with the extra sets. And step 12 is adding the propellers and uh, drive shafts. And then when you turn over the step 13, the last uh, building step is adding railings and some power vanes in various places. And there's some nice details there, a colour coding to show you which uh, which photo etch railings go in which places. Because you've got, with the three sets of PE, you've got quite a lot of railings to go at. And then down at the bottom, we've got the painting and marking guide. Basically, it's uh, it's mostly painting guides. Things are called out in Mr. Hobby and Tamiya. It's in colour, which is nice. Both sides and a view from the top. So that should that shouldn't make it should make it uh, reasonably easy. And the last bit I'll go through is the uh, the instructions for the extra parts that come with this limited edition set, the photo etch and the brass parts. Um, so looking at this sheet, you can see it shows you um, how to fold everything. It labels everything. On uh, if we turn over the page, you'll see there's photographs of the ship and all the parts on the other side of this sheet are labelled here so you know exactly which bit is which, where it goes, what it's supposed to look like. And if you study these, um, they'll, they make sense. I've looked at these for a fair while and they look good. So overall, um, for one 700th scale kit, this, even without the extra photo etch, this kit was better than most. Adding in two extra frets of photo etch, the brass parts, and the um, the Ushi van der Rosten rigging um, really makes this into a, a pretty spectacular little kit. It's not going to be a quick build by any sort of uh, idea. It's going to take a fair amount of while. There is lots and lots of very small parts. Um, the only thing that I can think of other than, for myself, other than the num sheer number of small parts is I'd have to do some research to see where the rigging goes. And that's the only real thing I'd have to do. So this is a pretty awesome kit. It's um, it's going to be a really nice project. It'll keep you busy for some time and it's highly recommended. Many thanks to Flyhawk for sending the kit for review.